What is up guys, Andy Forest Team Running here and welcome back to another how-to video. And today we're going to be talking all about base building, base training, laying that aerobic foundation for your upcoming running training blocks. It's winter, my racing season is done and dusted and what better time than now to spend the next few weeks preparing, laying the foundations, setting myself up nicely for 2020. So today we're going to be covering everything in base building, talking about what it is, why it's important and how my training is going to look leading in to 2020 with this base building training. So without further ado, Okay guys, so let's talk all things base building, base training, what is it, why do we do it, and what's my training going to look like specifically over the next six to eight weeks. We'll cover all of that today, so if you're excited for today's video, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content, and as always, without further ado, we'll dive into today's topic. So what is base building training? Well, effectively, a great analogy that you hear banded around a lot is you're laying the foundations for your upcoming training season training plan, training cycle, whatever you want to call it, you're laying the foundations. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a great example. Say, for example, you run a lot in the spring and the autumn. Sorry, you race a lot in the spring and the autumn. The summer and the winter is going to be your, effectively, your downtime, your time to allow your body to push the reset button to recover and get yourself ready and going again for that upcoming season. It's very popular in cross country, especially over the other side of the pond in the States where there's a lot of collegiate uh, cross country running. The summer is their time, effectively, to do a lot of base building ready for those autumn training seasons. Now, for me personally, I'm going into a period now where I've got nothing to train for until the new year. So I'm going to take this opportunity to do a bit of base building myself because there's going to be some pretty hard heavy training plans that we're going to be hitting next year um, for some specific races. So effectively what you're doing uh, in a very non-scientific way is you're taking your foot off the pedal of any race pace specific stuff. You're allowing your body to push the reset button as I said and you're doing a lot of easy aerobic running sprinkled in with some nice little sessions which we'll cover in terms of uh, what those sessions are, tempo workouts, that sort of thing. When I say sessions just hold on a minute before a lot of you go oh this is base building and meant to be just keeping it easy. Yes, yes, yes. Bear with me. So in terms of this base building phase, as I said, it's all about keeping it easy, building that mileage up. As I said, I'm not going to go into the scientific reasons as to why. There's a lot of reasons why uh, out there on the internet, but effectively the long and short of it is you're trying to allow your muscles to carry more, um, allow your blood to carry more uh, oxygen to your muscles enabling you to work harder for longer and that base building phase is only going to help that development that aerobic development so that when you come to that race specific stuff in the spring and the autumn your body is ready it can handle it it's got used to the high mileage you're effectively you're stressing it in a different way you're putting it through its paces in terms of mileage but you are not putting it through its paces in terms of the race specific workouts. So why do we do it? Well effectively, as I said, we're laying that foundation, we're allowing our body to push the reset button, mentally and physically. You imagine if you've just done, let's take a marathon runner for example, you've just done a, a 12, 16, 18, 20 week marathon training plan. You know it, you're fighting off those niggles, you're fighting off those injuries, uh, and effectively you're, you're trying to coax yourself to the end to race day so that you can have a break, so you can have those donuts that you've been craving. You know what I mean? You cannot keep that intensity up for 52 weeks of the year. It's not really good for you. It's going to wear your body down. You're going to get injured. Some people can do it. Fair play to them. It's not for me. I certainly can't do it. I've learned over time. I cannot keep up intensity. And I've really enjoyed over the last couple of years periodizing my training like this where I take my foot off the gas, do some easy work and then jump into some heftier uh, race specific work. So we do it for that purpose. We're just allowing our body a bit of a breather before we jump into something more specific. I'm talking marathon here. You might be doing track work or whatever. Now some of you on the channel might have heard me referring to things like uh, back in the uh, summer or the spring. I've got a great base behind me. I'm now ready to jump into the next set of training. And by that, I'm not referring to base building training. What I'm effectively referring to is I've just maybe done a 10K training block. And now I'm ready to jump into a half marathon training block or a marathon training block because I've got a good 
base of training under my belt and I'm ready to kick on. Laying the base foundation is kind of taking another step back of not building on any race specific stuff. All of that stuff is now behind me. That was all done in the autumn. This winter, I'm now pushing the reset button and allowing my body to run easy. So in terms of what my training is going to look like and what these sessions are that I've just mentioned and we're going to be sprinkling in, effectively what I like to do in my training is I like to do three workouts a week basically. I like to do a workout on a Tuesday and a Thursday and if I'm filling up to it <clears throat> I like to do a long run workout on a Saturday as well. Those long run workouts are my favourite of the week and especially when it's coming up to marathon training season I sprinkle a fair few of those in. This is going to be completely different. I'm going to be winding it back. I'm only going to be doing a couple of workouts and I'm using that word loosely now okay workouts a week I'm not going to be doing three for sure I just want to take it nice and easy and in terms of workouts that you can put in to your base building phase we're not talking anything that takes you over that lactate threshold no anaerobic stuff we're keeping it all aerobic Tempo runs are a very popular thing to do in the base building phase. Once you've got a couple of weeks of easy running under your belt, you start to sprinkle in some of that tempo running. And that can be anything from 20 minutes up to an hour. Do that across your base building phase. Just starting to get your body ready to, for a bit of higher intensity work. But as I said, in my how to tempo run video, you're not taking yourself, well, you're taking yourself close to your lactate threshold, but I'm, for me, I don't go quite there. I just keep it a little notch back so that everything's under control. Form is good. I'm not breathing too hard and everything is under control. I need to finish those tempo runs feeling calm, controlled, relaxed, and feeling like I've put in a good effort, but I could do it again the next day because I don't want that fatigue to have set in. Not that I would do it the next day, but I like to have that feeling knowing that I've done it then and I could do it again and again and again. That way I know I've not pushed myself too hard. I don't need multiple days to recover. Other things like progression runs are great. Again, your top progression mile at the end, not wanting to take it anywhere near your anaerobic state. You're just keeping it as a nice working your system from easy right through the phases, uh, sorry, right through the zones all the way up to kind of tempo pace. And other things that are great are fartlek runs, two minutes on, two minutes off, three minutes on, two minutes off for the more experienced runners, or maybe uh, if you're new and starting out, maybe 30 seconds on, one minute off. But again, you're not taking it to that threshold, you're not taking it to the lactate threshold, you're not taking it above that to the anaerobic state, you're just keeping it nice and easy. You're keeping everything below your threshold. Now, for me personally, that's gonna be the goal 95% uh, of the time. I am probably over the six to eight weeks gonna sprinkle in a couple of workouts that really take me to that lactate threshold, but they're gonna be very few and far between. They're probably gonna be two or three maximum in the eight week period, and they might come in the form of some harder intervals, some harder repeats, or some harder, maybe a lactate threshold run. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna take it very easy in terms of, I'm not gonna structure this too much. I'm just gonna focus on form, building up mileage, working on cadence, and keeping everything nice and chilled and easy, allowing my body the chance to relax. We've had a big old summer. We had nine weeks of solid 10K training. We then had another six weeks tuning up for a half marathon. We then had three weeks to get ready for a marathon. That's a big old chunk of training right there that I need to push the reset button from. I then came back from the marathon. I've already done two weeks of just pure solid easy running just at 25 miles each week. Ramped it back up to 35 miles for the last week and the week before. So this week I'm going to be kicking back into the 40 plus miles, hopefully then creeping into the 50s towards the 60s, towards the end of this base building phase. So I hope that explains it all. That's what my training is going to look like. But I'd love to know if you guys have set aside time to do base building in the past, how you found it helped or not helped and what your opinions are. Make sure you leave all of those in the comments below. I'd love to chat to you down there, so make sure you do get them in there. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content as always, and I will see you next time for more running videos. Until then.